you out there. This mission is called Gene Therapy and it's been trialled as a way of treating people with cystic fibrosis or CF. When I told my men they had to find a way to get into the CF camps, we were actually talking about the cells in your airways. Each cell contains DNA and this DNA helps your body to grow and work. When people have CF, it means a bit of their DNA, one of their genes, doesn't work properly. The aim of gene therapy is to replace a non-working gene with a working one. So when I gave the order for my men to defuse the CF bombs, I was telling them to send a working gene into the target cells. Now that might sound easy, but as you know, this mission was far from easy. For a start, my men had to get into the dangerous trachea tunnel. That's the airway that connects your nose and mouth with your lungs, the trachea. My men used parachutes to get there. In gene therapy, people with CF will probably use a nebulizer or an inhaler. To reach the cells of the trachea, my men then had to get through the sticky mucus layer, which lines the airways, and this was a challenge. Once they reached the cells, my men unfortunately didn't get in first time. Those bouncers are tough guys, and they saw my men coming. It's the same when you try and put a new piece of DNA into your cells. Just like the bouncers, your cells have protection and can block any unidentified visitors. That's why I gave my men a disguise, the moustaches, in order to help them blend in better with the airway cells and enter them more easily. Scientists use something called a liposome to try and help the DNA get into the cells. It's a tiny fatty blob that holds the new DNA inside. It's starting to look like Mission Impossible, right? Getting to the airways and through the mucus layer was tough. Getting past the bouncers was even tougher. But then, my men had to find their way to each of the CF bombs and try to get the job done. However, there's no guarantee they'll be successful. That's the same with gene therapy. Even once the working copy of the DNA is inside the cells, there's still no guarantee that the cells will use that DNA. They might just reject it. Then, there's another problem. Every couple of days, the cells lining the airways are replaced, meaning the whole mission has to be done again. And that's the reason the alarms went off at the end. In gene therapy, this means that the inhaler would probably have to be used by the person affected by CF on a regular basis to keep getting the new DNA into their lungs. <laughs>